ISRO has in fact just released a statement that the Vikram lander has exceeded its mission objectives and has successfully undergone a hop experiment on a command it fired the engines, elevated itself by about 40 centimeters as expected and has landed safely at a distance of about 30 to 40 centimeters away. ISRO also maintains that all systems including the chased payload and the ILSA payload continue to perform rather efficiently. Right here on your screens viewers, you can see the visual of uh, this little hop experiment being made. I'll play the video once again. This is of course released uh, by ISRO. You can see the little hop experiment when it fires up and when it moves about 30 to 40 centimeters away from the position it had landed. Remember, the landing point is known as the Shiv Shakti point. Joining us on the broadcast to discuss more is Group Captain V N Jha, former Joint Director of DRDO. Um, good afternoon, sir. Good morning, sir. I beg your pardon. And thank you for joining us on NewsX. What do you make of these developments? And thank you, NewsX, for taking the cause of uh, science and the space uh, that you have been taking up again and again. We are, to be very frank, uh, right from the day uh, Chandrayaan landed there on the lunar surface, uh, we have been telling you, especially I have been uh, very vocal about it, that it will perform many uh, uh, procedure, uh, technicality of which is rather intricate. And one of the things that I had mentioned was that the Chandrayaan three will have another lunar day for it to experience and experiment and do all the testing that it has been doing there. Uh, yesterday we learned that uh, rover Pragya has gone into the sleep mode. You know, it is like our laptop or anything else. When you want it to go uh, quiet uh, in the, in the uh, remnant phase of its working, so that is a sleep mode. So it has gone into the sleep mode and it will again wake up on the another uh, lunar day when the morning happens, expectantly on 22nd of September or so. Now comes the hop uh, experiment of lander. You know, this is one uh, what Chinese had done in their Changi uh, experiment in which they brought their uh, uh, craft back to the earth. If there is a plenty of uh, fuel into Chandrayaan 3, this Chandrayaan 3, if it, in case, if it can be given a, a, a hot shield or the heat shield cover in and around it, then it can take off from the lunar uh, uh, surface, come back uh, on the, uh, you know, few sling operations around the moon and head, toward, head back towards the earth and re-enter the atmosphere with the heat shield, protect it uh, well, and come back to the, uh, you know, uh, Earth's surface, uh, wherever it comes, whether it splashes there in the sea, or it lands somewhere safely. So all these technologies are, you know, giving us a glimpse that what all ISRO and Chandrayaan-3 is capable of. This small hop also gives, uh, you know, scope that in case if it has to pick up something in and around, say I'll give you an example. If the rover falls uh, somewhere in the ditch and if the rover has to be ex uh, extricated from that uh, uh, small uh, you know, ditch, it can be done. So it all opens the possibility of the uh, science, the technology uh, in the coming days, coming uh, uh, phase, there could be Talyan 4 in which all these provisions will be there. Chandrayaan 4 can come, uh, can, can come to the Chandrayaan 2 stage somewhere where the rover has fallen down and it can retrieve that. You know, all these possibilities are there. It is only showing us that the, the technology ISRO has used in Chandrayaan 3 is very, very robust, it's very intricate, and it is reusable. So with that, I compliment ISRO and I hope that even the lander systems are put into the sleep mode, which will again, again awaken or wake up on the next morning, which is scheduled to be on 22nd or 23rd September, uh, with full functions that it is designed for. Pia. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon.